consistency. And with this particular video, I want to talk about how Kanye West is an example of how the media continues to draw you into the matrix. And I'll say that Kanye West is used by the media to draw you further into the matrix. Now, Kanye has made some statements. He continues to make these statements that are very controversial. They're not really controversial. They're really just downright idiotic. And they are the ramblings of an insane fool who, if you listen to, cannot even complete a thought. He jumps from subject to subject. He can't even complete what he's actually talking about. But the media takes what he says and hypes it up and runs off of it and makes what he says more valuable or more relevant than it really is. If most people said what Kanye West said, we wouldn't even pay attention to them. But because he said it and he's being exploited by the media, it has value. The media blows it up and draws you back in. Kanye said, we chose to be slaves. Kanye said a lot of obnoxious things that makes no sense, that is illogical, but it's meant to draw his use. I wouldn't say it's meant because Kanye may think he's profound or prolific or that he's some type of genius or something. So I don't know why it's men, but it's being used to draw you back in the matrix. It's being used for you to pay attention to these media outlets again. Kanye West has enlivened these media outlets. He's resuscitated these vloggers and bloggers. So he's really just being used to suck your energy back into the matrix. He ain't said nothing. Because he continues to counsel out everything he says. First he supports Trump. He loves Trump. Then he doesn't support Trump's ideas. First he says, we, slavery is a choice, but then yet yeah, we're somehow a mental slave. The word slave and choice don't even go together. If you choose to do it, then you're not a slave whatsoever. But then he said, of course, we were forced into shackles. That we didn't choose to, to wear shackles and be ball here on a boat. So he cancels out everything he says. Kanye West is not saying anything. What he's saying is, is, is presented to be more profound than it really is. It's taken out of context. It's blown out of proportion by the media outlets. Like they blow everything out of proportion. The media is the matrix. And they have to steal your attention to get you caught back up into their conversation. Their conversation is the matrix. What him and Donald Trump have in common is, is not making America great again but making America debate again. We was clear on who our enemy is. We're clear on what's going on in society. We're clear on what Trump has represented and what he reflect. The masses of people are clear. But the Illuminati and elite don't want you to be clear. They can't make money off of clarity. They can only make money off confusion. So they use Kanye West confusion. Or they use his abstract dialogues to draw you back into the matrix. To make you rethink what you stand for, your position. To get you caught back up in a stream of consciousness. Well, what is Kanye going to say next? And it's not even what Kanye going to say next. It's what they're going to highlight that he said. Because we haven't heard from Kanye in months but I bet you he said a lot of things that will not get broadcasted in mainstream media. So they're going to highlight some aspect of what he's going to say to captivate your attention. See, all news is fake news. 
is presented it and marketed in a way to draw you in, to gain your participation, to get your attention and get you back involved in their artificial reality that they construct before you. They need to get us back debating whether we Republicans, whether we Democrats, when it's both the same shit. Multiple choice is not a choice. So it's the same shit. But they want you thinking about it and, and they've got to pull you back into their experiment, dealing with their variables and dealing with what they're constructing. And that's what Kanye West is being used for. And I said in the Cosby video, they build him up as a radical person that's against the matrix and against the system and as soon as you believe in them, they flip him on you. And suck you right, but use him to suck you right back in. Now, you think because you disagree with him that you're not being sucked back in. Or because you agree with him, you're being sucked back in. The fact that you are paying attention to him and that he has any relevance means you're being sucked back in. And the media knows how to use that which will disgust you or that which will intrigue you for you to be caught up in the wormhole of the matrix. Kanye West says anything and everything, but the media will pick from that and present that before you to get you caught back up in the matrix. I forgot about, I forgot TMZ existed. I forgot all about that. And now Kanye West, we got something. Let's use this, let's present this. And now they are manufacturing your conversation. And by controlling and determining your conversation, they determine your reality, what's valuable and what's relevant to you. Thus making you and your existence limited to their matrix reality. They tell you what is important, what should be debated, what should be argued, what the issue is. They want your attention by any means necessary. They want your involvement. They want you at the edge of their seat, ciphering your energy into their false and artificial reality. And they're desperate with it. So they would use Kanye West to say the most outlandish, paradoxical, and oxymoronic thing that you would ever expect in order to draw you back in. And they have many of you trying to decipher what Kanye said and what Kanye meant. And this is not about Kanye West at all or what he said. This is about the media's control over your mind, over your thoughts, over your stream of consciousness. They want to invade your mind and make sure that they have your mind on lock and load in their reality. You think it's about Kanye. They need you debating and deliberating on their substance and on their media. And they will use anything that they can to do that. And now they're using Kanye and he's being used in his state of mental illness. And his drug, his drug addict dialogues. His very impulsive, erratic, sporadic, illogical discourses. They're making it seem more prolific, more insightful than it really is. And by doing that, they are sucking you in. They're making you question what you know, making you question what you understand. And as long as you question what you know and what you understand, and as long as you question reality, you will need them to continue to feed them. You will need them to continue to feed you. And by them continuing, you thinking that they need to feed you, you will continue to feed into their reality, thus keeping their false matrix reality going. They have obscured the truth and made it as though it, it, as though it is arguable. 
that nothing that you think is real is real. Slavery was a choice. If slavery was a choice, there's no such thing as victimization, and all forms of victimization is a choice. And there's no such thing as human trafficking is a, is a choice. And sex slavery is a choice. And that's why Melania Trump is in a White House as a human traffic hostage sex slave because it's really just her choice to be with Donald Trump. They can slide anything in that they want to and make you question anything that they want you to question so that you stay questioning and on a quest into the wormhole of their never-ending, endless matrix reality. Slipping down the wormhole. Never to see reality again. On the path of advertisement and consumerism and popular opinion and seeking validation and a consensus reality that they continue to construct when there is no consensus reality. That reality is relative to the individual. And the desire to connect to a consensus reality is the direct slip into the matrix. Is to give up your own experience of reality to be a part of an artificially created reality that's constantly generated by the media, by the press. The media is the matrix. And I'm clear on that with this whole Kanye West situation. All news is fake news because they highlight what they want to and they keep you involved in, in their reality by how they highlight information to you and spoon feed it to you to keep you plugged in to their world which only exist in an artificial realm of mind and of thought that they've overlaid on the actual reality that we walk around in. All news is fake news. All news is fake narrative. All of it. What did Kanye mean? Who gives a fuck? What is truth? What is not truth? This King Noble Black Supremacy, signing out.